Today we're gonna build a really fantastic kit from Tamiya, the 135th scale Vespa Howitzer. Today we're gonna build this amazing kit uh, by Tamiya. It's a straightforward kit. Uh, I built it uh, probably, I would say, four or five times now. It's for my Italian front diorama uh, that uh, you saw in the previous video. I built uh, the uh, Italian farm. So I will put the link in the description uh, below on uh, the top right corner also. I said uh, it's a nice kit because it's uh, pretty simple, but you have a uh, plenty of details and you're really gonna have fun with this one. I will just pimp it up a little bit by using some kind of a aftermarket uh, photo edge. I'm also gonna use uh, some bags and also I'm gonna use uh, some chain to just make uh, a little bit different and to make uh, this model a little bit more uh, interesting even if it, it I want to keep it simple because like I said it's for a diorama for one of my customers and I want to keep it simple but add as much detail as possible. Just to uh, give you some technical knowledge, uh, the Vespi is a SD.KFZ uh, uh, also known as a Panzerkampf wagon. Uh, a Howitzer 18. Uh, it's built on a Panzer II chassis, uh, self-propelled. It's a German self-propelled gun uh, developed uh, and used during the World War II um, and was based on a modified Panzer II. The Vespi first saw combat in 1943 on the Eastern Front uh, it proved to be very successful and Hitler ordered all Panzer II chassis production uh, be dedicated to the Vespi alone at the expense of other projects uh, including the Martyr II uh, self-propelled anti-tank gun. In this video series of the build and also the painting and weathering of the Vespi, I'm gonna focus on the Italian front. Um, it's a basically it's a commission uh, from uh, from somebody who asked me to do it and uh, that's uh, what I will do so I'm gonna use uh, a plastic putty from uh, Vallejo because the, the barrel uh, the gun barrel has a really large uh, gap uh, between uh, the two piece glue together so I'm just gonna basically use a sponge uh, to make sure that I will put some uh, some putty uh, all over the uh, the really large uh, area and make sure that it's gonna go into it. And I'm just gonna use a really light uh, sanding after that. Uh, after I glue my photo wedge part, uh, since I'm using um, a black super glue. I'm just gonna remove uh, the excess glue with a debonder. Uh, this way, uh, you're not gonna see uh, any uh, glue marks. And I'm also gonna do a, kind of a light sand, uh, also to make sure that uh, when I will be uh, painting this part, it's not uh, the not not, but the the paint will uh, will stick to the uh, the tiny parts. So continuing to assemble uh, this um, this kit, I just want to tell you that um, you can join my Patreon page. It's free, and I like I said, I'm trying to post as much as possible. But you're gonna have a, a lot of uh, details, uh, things that I'm working on, and also uh, different uh, information for you. For example different uh, color camo, different um, uh, the way that uh, you can paint a uh, different model so it's uh, it's gonna have a, a ton of information so you can join and it's gonna be free so uh, don't be afraid to do it 
uh, there is uh, not much sanding uh, with this kit uh, that's the beauty of it because normally when you try to assemble a model armor uh, and the fit is not good it could be painted the ass and that's why I tell you at the beginning of the video that it could be a really nice kit for a beginner so if you want to try your first kit I suggest that this kit is uh, absolutely fantastic even if it's a Tamiya kit uh, what I mean by Tamiya it's normally straightforward and easy kit to build so it's not something that I try not to do uh, as often as I used to 25 years ago because uh, the new kit are a lot more interesting a lot more difficult but like I said it's it's been 25 years so I know uh, I know my craft a bit um, to add some simple details I'm just gonna add some Castile texture uh, I also did a full video uh, on my YouTube channel uh, dedicated to uh, how to recreate Castile texture so it's gonna be linked on the top right corner it's a super simple method and if you like to build a German tank uh, it's something that you uh, you can add uh, to uh, not any of your tank but a lot of them has uh, some kind of a Castile texture but it's a really nice add-on it's super cheap and even if you're not adding photo etch or different things like that just adding some Castile texture already it's gonna give uh, your model armor some character and some differentiation uh, from the kit from the the, the kit directly uh, from the the boxes so I'm not gonna show you how I built the tracks um, because it's kind of a straightforward and you just uh, follow the instruction uh, it's not really interesting so that's why uh, I skip this part because you're gonna figure it out by yourself now it's time to add some details I'm just gonna add some round some empty uh, round shelf uh, this way again it's gonna add some uh, some more details um, it's something that uh, I already had uh, in my stash uh, and also um, I'm gonna add some chains um, it's gonna give uh, some character and honestly it's uh, super easy you can buy it uh, like a, a meter of it uh, for like uh, two dollars so it's super cheap and I'm just gonna finish uh, with some bags to make it a little bit more interesting so I hope you you like this one guys and see you in the next video